Previously on Business Suit Gamer. And now. BSG? Hello. BSG? Mr. Business Suit Gamer, please do wake up. I have something of utmost importance to bring to your attention. I said, wake up. <laughs> All right then. If you won't get up, you might miss out on a lucrative opportunity. Well, oh, hang on a second, the chief. Let's not be hasty here. I'm glad you finally come to your senses, business suit gamer. Now come along. We have much to talk about over breakfast. Ah oh, man, I gotta lay off the drink for a while. that we got the stretches out of the way, I need to go check on Albatron and see what he needs to bring to my attention today. I appreciate you inviting me over for breakfast, Albatron, but it doesn't look like a social call, so what's up? It's no trouble at all, my friend, and I must apologize for this rude awakening. But we have a pressing issue to discuss, in which requires urgency and discretion. Yeah, but out here in the open, let alone in front of a bistro? I don't understand it. If that were the case, then wouldn't it defeat the purpose of discretion? Your concerns are duly noted, Mr. Business Suit Gamer. 
but I can reassure you that because I have an established network in the city, I know the average visit frequency of dining establishments within city limits. Besides, aside from the fact that people rarely come by this block at this time of day, especially on Mondays, this bistro spares no expense in providing an artisanal breakfast in the entire region. I just thought we'd rendezvous here for a quality meal beforehand. Yeah, but sushi for breakfast? It's a Japanese-American fusion bistro. What did you expect? Hmm... Makes sense to me. Culinary oddities aside, Abitron, I trust your judgment. I'm glad you agree on that assessment. Right. Now that we have the standard pleasantries out of the way, we can get right down to business. I have with me a folder containing some documentation regarding your induction into the Brotherhood of Suits. Wow! Really? Yes. It is imperative that you read the initiation letter at your earliest convenience. Don't worry, it won't suck you in like last time. It's only an officiated sheet of paper bearing great importance on your future with us. Thank you for entrusting me with this information, Albatron. I'll have a look at it when I get the chance today. It's no trouble at all, my friend. Now I must be going. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me for breakfast. In case you are still interested in joining, meet me at the top floor of the Sledgeman Warehouse office at around 9pm. Take care. Hmm... This seems like a unique way to start the day. Could this letter be the very same initiation letter in which I was trying to read? Hmm, it'd be a very likely possibility. Although I'm more worried about who's putting the bill in this steak and sushi roll. Now let me see if I have anything over here that will help me cover the cost. Ah, I feel something crisp and clean, like a stock certificate. I don't know how that got in here, but whatever it is, it must be worth something. The suspense is killing me already! Wait, what, what the heck is this? Ah, oh, no, huh? Well, that's highly unprecedented. Let's see what it says here. To the owner of the classy Viking Bistro, please accept this voucher for one breakfast special for my friend here. I promise to provide you the necessary compensation sometime around next week. Thank you for the pleasant meal. This means a lot to us both. Signed, your esteemed patron, Albatron. Wow, I gotta appreciate Albatron's generosity over here. Man, I really gotta start earning a living if I'm ever gonna survive here. Oh well, it's no use moping over a spoiled stock portfolio. Now I gotta give this voucher to the bistro owner and hope for the best. Two hours later. I gotta admit, that was an interesting breakfast. And a good thing too, because the owner of the beast shows seemed like a pretty cool guy. I mean, who'd have thought that he had the admiration of both the American and Japanese cultures? Alright, now that the transaction issue is out of the way, I think it's time for me to head back to the hotel room to grab my bearings.